Ladies and gentlemen, it's the late hour of 10 o'clock and it is finally time to get into your short but impactful episode of Mayhem as we are going to be seeing Kyla Riley go one-on-one -on -one with LA Knight to open us up and inside your main event, it will be Mr. Money in the Bank in one half of the number one contender for the tag team title, John Moxley, taking on DIYs Johnny Gargano. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. And we are ready to get right into the action. This may be one of the shortest episodes of Universe Mode. But trust me, ladies and gentlemen, there is a damn good reason for coming up this Monday. It will be the first Raw of the year as this will be the final show of the year. As Raw is coming to you guys live with the New Year show. It's going to be damn good coming up this Monday. As we just came off the precipice of a great Christmas episode. And now we are going into the New Year strong with a, a number of great matches and we want to make sure we want to make sure that everybody gets to those shows and they're ready to go but LA Knight he's here on Mayhem just like he is going to be at No Way Out as he's going to be taking on Adam Cole in a Intercontinental Championship rematch and that matchup was determined a few weeks ago on Raw as LA Knight and Adam Cole had a couple of harsh words for each other and LA Knight simply said listen I know I can beat you the entire WWE Universe knows that I can beat you it's all up to you accepting the fact that I am the end of that championship reign listen 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 Kyle O'Reilly Bobby Fish, Adam Cole, dangerous, dangerous individuals, but when all three are together, now that's, that's when things really pick up, ladies and gentlemen. Man, oh man, things, things only heat up from here, ladies and gentlemen, in the undisputed era, I said it before and I'll say it again, dangerous, dangerous individuals, but when all together, now that is when you are looking at a recipe of disaster, but... When it comes down to the side of the undisputed era, it's truly that and that alone, ladies and gentlemen. It is undisputed. And tonight, tonight we see Kyle O'Reilly step up. One third of the undisputed era step up. And then we see them go against LA Knight. As you know, last week we seen LA Knight attacking Bobby Fish. As you know, LA Knight promised to give an ass whooping to the entire undisputed era after what happened at Royal Anniversary after getting screwed out of their opportunity. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes down to the undisputed era and LA Knight's beef, it's gotten damn sure personal over the last couple of weeks. And the undisputed era helping Adam Cole at Royal Anniversary. Now that that was a boiling point even for LA Knight. Knight wants one thing and one thing only, and that is to not only prove that he is at that level, not only prove that he is the best, but show it by winning the Intercontinental Championship, one of the greatest championships here in Universe Mode history as, oh, it's one of our more decorated TV championships that is defended all across Raw and Mayhem on numerous shows and pay-per-views. The Intercontinental Championship has got to be one of the most prestigious championships in all of professional wrestling, especially right here in Wrestle Plus, and I can only think of one man who'd want to hold that gold. You know, wait a minute. Oh, beautiful work there by Kyle O'Reilly. O'Reilly now stomping down there on LA Knight. LA Knight promised the stomp out, but the, the Uno reverse car seems like it's being tossed out there by Kyle O'Reilly. And O'Reilly just tossing his tossing his fist after fist after fist into LA Knight, not playing any games with him here tonight. And wait a minute, Knight now with a big punch to the face there. Beautiful work there by LA Knight. Knight now thinking about what to do now here. Punch to the back with a beautiful Irish whip. Now bouncing Kyle O'Reilly as both men getting tangled up here. But LA Knight looking to keep on and looking to stay on the brute of the attack and he does. B beautiful, beautiful work by LA Knight. Goes into the cover and no. Missed out at one man. The things that you're not used to seeing by LA Knight, and I'm not used to seeing somebody be able to take a stomp out. But ladies and gentlemen, the Undisputed Era aren't just the name. These are three of wrestling's most undisputed superstars. You know, just a couple of weeks ago when we seen Bobby Fish go one-on-one -on -one with Brian Danielson, we talked about how great that matchup was because of both of the careers of those technical strikers, those technical strikers being Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Listen, like, they, they don't play any games when it comes down to stepping inside the ring. Referee already on the count of five, but it seems like Kyle O'Reilly is going to use all this count time to his advantage. Beautiful work there. Beautiful, beautiful work there by Kyle O'Reilly. Already count of seven. Come on, got to get him back into the ring. It's, oh, my God. At some point, I mean, this doesn't make any sense. Referee on the count of eight. Wait a minute. Going back into the ring. Knight is stunned. Doesn't know where the hell he's at. Wait a minute. What the hell is Bobby Fish doing? Fish grabbing. Grabbing LA Knight as the referee on the count of nine. Oh, my goodness. LA Knight. 
LA Knight just got tossed to the side because Adam Cole told them to. This, this is what we've been talking about. The Undisputed Era and the shenanigans. The Undisputed Era and their evil ways. And they, they seem like, they seem like they are ready to take over from here on out, ladies and gentlemen. When it comes down to the Undisputed Era, they are doing things a bit different here, at least on Mayhem, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this wasn't the exact win that you guys were looking for, but it was a win, no, no doubt. And it was done by Kyle O'Reilly, a well-needed win. But you got to talk about how the momentum might be stifled by one LA Knight. Everybody wants to put everybody on notice. But nobody wants to talk about the baddest superstar. The Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. Now this coming Monday, I have a match. A match with good old Punky Boy and Punk. Let me tell you something. I'm making my Raw debut. I'm looking to make an impact. And every time some... <laughs> I should have expected this, huh? I mean, CM Punk nonetheless. I mean, why would you let anybody talk just a little bit of smack about you? I mean, come on, Punk. Hit me with those great words of wisdom you've been throwing everybody's way. At the end of the day, the true fact will remain the same, and that is this Monday, I'm going to choke your ass out. And come January 7th at the Elimination Chamber, I am going to end all of you and become number one contender. Go to the main event of Mania and dominate like I always do. You see, Joe, this is why you haven't gone very far in your interesting time here in Universe Mode. You see, I'm not your enemy. I'm here to uh, give you a bit of a good luck pay a bit of respect to you because one thing is going to remain the same and that is the same thing that happened back in August back at Wembley it's going to be the same case on Raw I'm going to walk out the winner over you and this time it's not going to be for a championship it will be for something more important than that it will be for a chance to finally shut your mouth Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it feels a bit early to be saying this one, but uh, it's true, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for your main event. Moxley Gargano. One on one. This one's going to be very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. As Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa having up and, you know, have an up-and-coming match coming up this Monday. On Raw against FTR, it is going to be a Starcade semi-finals rematch. And what a semi-finals match it was when FTR went 2-on-2 two -two with DIY for the opportunity to take on the former champions, the Usos, a couple of months back in September. DIY made it all the way to Starcade. They made it all the way to MSG, but they were unable to get the job done. Will Monday be any different, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know, but what I do know is that tonight... Tonight we have two men inside your main event who have met each other in the past in competition before. You have your money in the bank. John Moxley and this one's gonna be damn, damn good. Moxley and Brian have been in the like top shape, you know, shape. And that's the best way to put it. Just the top tier shape of their careers. They have been carrying universe mode. Brian Danielson has been wrestling all over. Rollins has been wrestling all over. Yuta has been wrestling all over. We haven't seen much of Claudio wrestling that much, but we've seen him all over, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes down to the Shield, for some reason, uh, these five guys not only do what they have to do, but they make it look damn good. And, and you see, this is the interesting part. Now, FTR, they just won those championships back at Royal Anniversary. There is not only no better opponents than the Shield at this point in time right now in Universe Mode, but there is no other team stronger than the Shield right now. You could talk about the heart and soul of the DIY. Great, great team. You know you're going to get a five-star match any day of the week when they step into the ring, but the things that the Shield are doing, and with the odd combination of John Moxley and Brian Danielson, when it was those two men, when it was those two men that had so much animosity for each other, going into war games coming out of no mercy and now look at where these guys are going into the new year about to go into jewel 
January 7th, about to go into this No Way Out pay-per-view, going for the Tag Team Championships, and beautiful slap there by John Moxley, as Moxley has taken on more of this Tag Team Gold here in Universe Mode over the last two months after Raw Anniversary, or during Raw Anniversary, but really building himself up, and a beautiful cutter there by Moxley. And as I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, Moxley bit of trying to do just a little bit of everything, but... You know, this is the dangerous thing about the shield. You kind of don't know what direction that they're going to go in and, and when they are, how they are. Look at this Moxley now pulling back on the spine of John, or Johnny Gargano, but there was nowhere for him to go, nothing for him to do. Now look at this Moxley pulling on the arm. This is what you like to see here, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is that tenacity. This is that fearlessness that we know that Moxley has inside the ring. Look at that! Gargano, an absolute beautiful maneuver, bouncing off of that first rope. And now look at this, Johnny Gargano doing Johnny Gargano things in his matchup here. And I said that these two men have met in the ring before, and they definitely had. And I'm not talking about Shield versus DIY. No, no, I'm talking about when Moxley stepped into that fatal four-way along with AJ Styles, John Moxley, and Jay White during the crossover to, you know, to fill in for the new Money in the Bank as our former Money in the Bank is no longer here with us in Universe Mode. And wait a minute now, Moxley, beautiful work here, taken down. Gargano, middle of the ring, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Into the cover, is this one going to be it here? And no! Gargano staying alive. I mean, do we expect him to do anything different? Still very early on in the match here. Gargano, when he fights, he damn sure fights. And wait a minute, look at this now. Moxley not playing any game. Seemed like he wanted to go for that submission maneuver there. Look, maybe a bit of a figure four. But could not get the, uh, the leg all the way pinned in there. But ladies and gentlemen, not only is this Monday coming up as our... You know, our Raw show, our, our great Raw show, our Raw New Year show. But ladies and gentlemen, it will also be a go-home show, the final Raw before our No Way Out pay-per-view. As that is coming your way live next Sunday right here on the Plus channel. It's going to be damn good. And wait a minute now, John Moxley up in. Is he going to go down? No. Moxley, beautiful reversal. Now taking down the knee of... Gargano, absolutely beautiful work here by John Moxley as him and Gargano are fired up wrestling their absolute hard side in your main event. And look at that! Johnny Gargano, listen, he's getting his licks back for sure, but so is Moxley into the cover. Is this one going to be it here? No! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about right here, that fast-pacedness, that back and forth. It's just all over the place. And look at this, through the ropes! Through the ropes by Moxley. What a maneuver, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is what you came here to see. This is what makes it lives up. To, this is what you know makes it live up to the name known as Mayhem. And ladies and gentlemen, oh man, beautiful work there by John Moxley. I want to just thank everybody for all the support of the channel that you guys have been giving us recently. And I also want to say. Oh my god, Moxley. Absolutely devastating. I mean, listen, John Moxley. Moxley not playing any games. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but neither is Johnny Gargano as referee on the count of eight. We've seen how that last matchup went when they got on the count of eight. And wait a minute now, bouncing him right into the corner. What does Johnny Gargano have in mind for John Moxley here tonight? And wait a minute, Moxley looking to turn this one around. And Gargano saying, oh, Gargano trying to fight this one out. Gargano now finally in that place. Johnny Gargano finally in that place. He senses where he needs to go and what he needs to do. And it seems like he has a Mr. Money in the Bank to beat in his limelight over the rope. But oh, psych this out there as John Moxley a bit into this one more than we thought. But look at that. Gargano moves out of the way there. Punches Moxley in the back there. But wait a minute, Moxley now up and over. Slice bread. One, two, no. John Moxley staying alive with this maneuver right here, this tactic right here by Johnny Gargano was absolutely fresh and smart and it's damn sure good to see. You know, we see so many people go against Johnny Gargano and it's the same thing that we always see. You know, they try to outmaneuver him, outsmart him, do more than him. But when you're going against a guy like John Moxley, you just got to beat the absolute shit out of him. I'm going to be completely honest. That is the only way you're walking out with the victory or anything close to it. But Gargano! Gargano! Doing what he has to do to survive! To survive! Oh my god! 
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is that action that we have been looking to see all goddamn night. And I think two matches were the perfect thing to put on the card as these two men are doing what they got to do. Not only to entertain you guys, but they're doing what they got to do for that momentum. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What does Johnny Gargano have in mind now for Mr. Money to Bank John Moxley? As Moxley inside the ring. And yes, he's also yes, he's Mr. Money to Bank, but also one half for the tag team champions. You can't think that this is gonna look too good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's not meeting in the middle with his tag team partner, but he's going damn sure himself. He follows through Gargano for the win. Two and no. Moxley stays alive, but no, wait a minute, Gargano wasting absolutely no time. Wait a minute, that ring awareness might be a little off as now, punching in, punching in, and he has it locked in, the Gargano escape, but there's nowhere to go, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Oh man, we've seen Moxley be agile in the past, we've seen him get out of maneuvers in the past, but this one right here, this one right here might not be something that he is able to get out of, and beautiful work there by Moxley. It's Moxley taking him down there, and now Johnny Gargano doing what he needs to, or excuse me, He's going to say doing what he needs to do, but that would be an absolute lie as Moxley is now. Now a lion in a lion's den, and he is just going. He sees nothing but red, but the opportunity says green, ladies and gentlemen, Moxley. Moxley is playing absolutely no games here tonight. As, listen, listen, I'll say it. I'll say it more than the next man. Gargano, Gargano had his open. Gargano had his open. If he's going to want to get the job done, then he's going to have to get on it oh my goodness look at that moxley now dissecting his opponent like a vulture that is the best way to describe the shield here in universe mode vultures ladies and gentlemen they do what they have to do and not only that they pick apart their prey but it seems like seems like gargano gargano will be prey no longer through the ropes gargano showing off that heart and soul that we know and love. And oh, big knee by Mox. Shout out to the game. Moxley not playing any games here tonight. Neither is Gargano. Every time you look, these guys are back and forth. So evenly matched, so well even. We've seen those shades in that fatal four-way match a couple of months ago for the Money in the Bank and now we are seeing it here tonight and wait a minute look at this moxley telling telling gargano to get his ass in the ring but now breaking the count as wait a minute gargano big clothesline there right in front of moxley's tag team partner brian danielson but look at this danielson can just watch on danielson and rollins were the team of choice tonight to come out with moxley and wait a minute now as we know the shield is are as united as ever and they just kind of come out as they go and right now it's these two guys, and wait a minute, referee on the count of four is Moxley getting right back into the ring. Moxley, Moxley thinking about what to do here, and listen, if I'm John Moxley, I would think about that too. There's not really much to do. Gargano's locked in even on the outside. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Gargano, an absolute man on a mission here tonight in the mid the man is Gargano, the mission is Moxley, but can he beat that mission here tonight? I don't know, but Gargano definitely thinking to himself what he has to do next. Thinking to himself, what is it, well, what's going to be enough to put down Moxley? But Moxley now feeling the momentum, taking down Johnny Gargano for the second time. Going off of the ropes, using it to his advantage. And a bulldog by Mox. And oh man, stomped by Mox and now John Moxley. Mr. Money in the Bank is in his absolute element here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Can you blame him, John Moxley? Look at this, furious elbows to the face there as Moxley and Bryan had one hell of a match just past Monday as they took on the team of the Creed Brothers and absolutely dominated. And look at this, paradigm shift. It was the first one. Will it be the last one in this match? It seems like recently it only takes one. Ladies and gentlemen, what a win by John Moxley and well needed secured momentum by the Shield. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I don't even know if I'd call it well need. I said it before all throughout the night, and I'll say it again. The shields are on the absolute top of this universe mode. Two of our very own pillars are, are, are in the shield, being Brian Danielson and John Moxley. And coming up January 7th, those two pillars are going to be stepping into the ring with seven-star FTR as they are going to be taking them on for the Tag Team Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a damn good one. But before then, we have another tag match with the champs, and it is going to be DIY taking on FTR and Starcade rematch. It's going to be damn good for your Raw, for the first Raw of the year. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Samoa Joe makes his Raw debut. CM Punk makes his Raw debut. And that one is not all. As the Undisputed Era set out the challenge, and LA Knight answered with some backup as Alpha Academy looks to help him in the six-man tag. And ladies and gentlemen, trust me when I say, rent is fucking due. It is time to get into one of our most craziest main events, Balor Styles, one-on-one. -on -one.